on YouTube as well. I just want to talk about the GTA Plus garage, the buy my car garage. Because I saw a lot of people speak about it, a lot of people just regurgitating stuff from Newswire, um, what rocks that are posted, etc. Um, I think even Bruffy mentioned this on the stream, he basically watched like a handful of videos and everyone's just showing that little cap from the um, Newswire on Monday, I think it was. Which is, it's no good. It doesn't really explain things to us, does it? Um, the idea is that it just gives a better understanding. I had GTA Plus when we last did the DLC stream, which was a week ago. It's now a week later. Well, a week and a half later. And I don't have GTA Plus anymore. I can't pay for it till I get paid. So, if I go to my preferences, as you can see, I can still spawn there. So when I switch session now, unless it does the bug, it should spawn me there. So let's switch session, just show that I'm there, and not in the wilderness. I'll try and keep this as short as possible. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to try and explain everything I can that I've learned in the past week from doing this. Um, because my thing expired on Tuesday, so I've had a few days to think about it. Not around there. All right, so as you can see, it spawned me into my garage. Let me ease. return my GTO Stinger TT so it looks full. So as you can see, I have all 20 car slots filled here. I'll have the whole garage full. Now, the things you can still do are the following. So I can still come in here and I can move, for example, my 10F to my 10F wide body situation. Um, or, for example, I can move the Comet to any other floor in any other space. That's absolutely fine. Um, I can move all the cars within. That's absolutely fine. They're all locked in place. Um, I can, for example, get in my lacaroos and take it outside. I can go for a leisurely Sunday drive. And then turn around. And I can come back. And it will allow me to put that car back in. That's the basic stuff. We know that. That's easy. What people want to know is how does it now affect us now that we've got that stuff in there. So. Get back in the lacaroos. Just to get back outside. So, I can now happily take this lacaroos, drive off, and go to my auto shop, which is a reference there. And I can put that in there. I'm not going to because there's empty slots. Because, and the reason I'm not going to is. Because if I put this lacquer roost in my auto shop, I then can't put it back in my car, wood, uh, car club garage. So, just for science, I'll do it because I need to get Car will only be out of circulation for one day. Drive over here. Here's the auto Now, I've driven this car now in here. So officially, it's not part of my 100 car garage anymore. So let me get back in it. There's one space left in here. That's quite surprising. It's fair, I need to get rid of all them cars because I have them now. So. That's that. So that's, I've now taken that out. This is now part of my auto shop. So theoretically, I'm prohibited from putting it back in. Now, as you can see as a driver, where you saw me drive up earlier, the blue circle was already there on the floor. 
Now that this car is part of my auto shop, it's not part of this garage. So when I drive up to the door, it's you need a GTA Plus moonship to enter the Bionwood Car Club garage with storage for personal vehicles. Let's rise on the D-pad to find out more about GTA Benefits benefits, which takes you to the GTA Plus benefits page. So I can't put my Lacarus in there. Just to prove that it's not limited to cars at all. I can't put the Phoenix in there either. Because it tells me exactly the same thing. If the garage was full also, so like if the Lacarus was still in there, you wouldn't be able to put any vehicle that isn't a vehicle of that uh, garage in there. So if if it was if the Lacarus was in there, for example, and it was a hundred car full, I can't take a gar car out of another garage and put it in there. It will do the same thing, it'll take away the marker and ask me to pay for GT Plus. Um, but I could happily take cars out, go and customise them, bring them back. It's just a simple case of once your GTA Plus membership is expired, if you take a car out that you don't mean to and put it in another garage by accident, you've got to rebuy GTA Plus to put that car back in. That's the short and simple of it. Is works amazingly, but if once you've got the cars in there, you need to be set on what you're putting in there. Also, you can't use this if you don't have GTA Plus pre-existing. You can't use it. It'll tell you the same thing. It's that you need to look at the benefits and subscribe um, to access this garage. Um, I'm sure there's probably s someone out there. I'm going to assume probably floorball that knows how to utilize that. Car, so you can show how it would look if that wasn't a thing. So, I'd imagine he'd probably post the floor at some point. This floorball's pretty on that shit. Yeah, that's that's the basics of that. But yeah, I still just wanted to do some garage showing. Um, but yeah, that's how the GTA Plus Ironwood Car Club garage works. Right, and some more liberal 